that is where my first point comes in. Oh my days. Hello guys, welcome back to the PDSG TV and I'm Kelly and today I have a story time for you guys. The title of my story time is Reasons Why Men Look at Women and Do Not Approach. So before I continue guys, please remember to like this video right now because it's about to get juicy. Subscribe to this channel and share these videos all with your friends and family. So let's keep this rolling. It all started uh, the day I had my orthodontist appointment. So on that day, I was going to Manchester and I live in London. So I was going to Manchester. I went to London Euston Station. I always go early because whenever I have a, a journey, it doesn't matter what, what the journey is, even if it's a train journey, flight journey, I always want to go early. So I went early. I was waiting and I was like, I think uh, half an hour early. And I remember that as I was standing, these two men actually noticed me. One of them was quite tall, so I had to like move a little bit to the other side looking at the board and waiting for my train to be displayed and then one of the men i'll say that uh, i'll call a and b so b is the short one and a is the tall one so b was talking to a and b was just like checking me out checking me out so you might just like what the freak is going on but then i was just calm because in my mind i was just thinking about uh, my journey to uh, manchester because actually it's bolton because from manchester i had to take another train to then bolton it's a bit of a long journey so i was just thinking about my journey in the meantime b walks up to me and he was just saying you know a lot of things he was just like hey hi what's your name i was uh, talking as well and then i told him my name oh wow you're actually so nice and the reason I'm talking to you is because my friend A, uh, I would like him to talk to you and I think he likes it. Wait, what? I was just shocked. I was really, really shocked. That is where my first point comes in. Then the first reason, the first reason he said that men look at women and do not approach, he said because most women can be rude. And this is from the male perspective. This was a man talking to me. This man was then 32 years and I was 24. So this is what happened last year. It's never up to a year yet. He said, yeah, this is something that, he said that you're actually not rude because I've been talking to you. You're very nice. You're not scared. You're not scaring us away. You're not acting scared as well. And I was like acting scared. I was like, some people can really be genuinely scared. Like you're not scared. You're just like interacting with us and it's really looking so normal and to me. Yeah, that's fine. And then the next thing was him telling me his life story and he said me telling me the fact that he he's a married man with four kids and then his friend is not married and then he would like his friend to be in a new relationship and this is something that he and his friend have been talking about and then this is when he tries to pull his friend into the conversation oh my days then his friend start talking to me wow i'm actually surprised you're talking because usually if you try to approach these girls they all come with the religious stuff and then that was the second reason second reason why men do that but they think that you're gonna attack them with religion but i'm a christian though and then he was like yeah but you're nice and i was like oh my days just for people to actually think that some christians aren't nice wow he was just talking to me telling me the fact that he was in a relationship with the mother of his child but he's not in the, with the mother of his child anymore. The mother of his child is not Nigerian. And he was just talking about his life and everything. Okay, interesting. And then he asked me, do you have children? And I said, no, I don't have children. And I told him, I'm sorry, I'm not the kind of person that would have children and raise them on my own. Like I believe in having children in a marriage and raise them with a father. So I cannot have children on my own. And then he was like, hmm. Wow, oh, you really have strong values. Yeah. And then he was like, would you date someone with children? And then I, to me, I said, it depends, you know? Uh, but I was like, I always think that it's the best thing for, for you to try to work things with the mother of your child. Because one thing I believe is that if you are in that situation where you actually had a child with this human, I feel like you need to, at the end of the day, try to work out things. But if it's an abusive thing or the nature of the relationship was abusive, then fine. But if there's a way to work out things, like at least try. Have you heard about the healing book? Go to www.pdsgtv.com 
where you will find a best-selling book by the PDST TV. Learn and understand about healing. Hurry up because the book is selling fast and it's selling at half the price. Half the price guys, half the price. It's an offer you cannot miss. And he was like, oh wow, you're so good. People wouldn't even tell you to go back. And then his friend was like, overhearing this part of the discussion and was like oh no i don't want him to go back to that woman that woman is this it was just like say that woman is this and that and then his friend was like oh don't speak about her that way and in my head i was like obviously don't speak about her in that in that way in that manner because she's still the mother of his child his friend was getting a little bit frustrated because where is the game like this guy is like he doesn't have game where is the game he was like trying to um encourage his friend to like do something like there and now and to me, that was a big peak. You know what? I noticed it. his friend was really trying to have a genuine conversation with me. And then his friend was like so impatient. And that day, his friend was actually drunk. It was early in the morning. It wasn't even 10 a.m. yet. His friend was actually drunk. And then they were telling me the fact that they are from Manchester, but they actually came to London just to have a good time, you know, because they have been working. So they just wanted to come to London and relax. His friend was just like, come on ask for her number i calm down it's not yet time it's not yet time like we're still talking i don't even she doesn't even know me that well his friend was really interested in knowing the reason why i'm like this you know so good like, i was like you're so good you're so kind i was like oh thank you so much thank you and then now uh, you know i used the opportunity to actually talk about being approachable like another thing number three third reason is most ladies are not approachable like they don't have even just seeing them you might say oh she's so pretty she's so beautiful she's all of this but you can't even approach them and you just look and they're just like yeah that's just good for the eyes to look at that but you will not have a conversation with them i use the opportunity to talk about jesus christ and uh the character of jesus of how uh, jesus was so compassionate he would be the one to talk to people as well and he was approachable as well because people would see him master master so jesus was someone that you could speak to so jesus was very approachable so for me that was something that I learned from Jesus Christ being compassionate being approachable those are the characteristics of Jesus this guy was really shocked because I used the avenue to speak about our Lord Jesus Christ and then he was like oh yeah by the way I'm a Christian I used to go to this church and I said you know that you could actually find someone that you'd want in Manchester I'm like there's no need for you to be looking for me that I'm over here in London where there are so many ladies in the church that are actually looking for husbands. <laughs> and I was like, so I was like, there's so many ladies that believe in God for a good husband. And you said you go to church, you could actually find you someone just pray to God for God to open your eyes to meet someone there. Like, that's very easy. You don't even need to think about how you have to travel over to London, how you guys have to spend time, even making him to understand the convenience of having someone in your same area that you are in a relationship with. Oh yeah, but that does not matter. I know I've seen you, you're the one I would like to start talking to. And then I was like, oh no. I was like, no, I'm not interested, to be honest. Oh, I would really want to talk to you though. You're really, really such a good person and you're, you're so young. Like they don't actually believe my age. And the man was like, are you sure you're 24? I, I thought you were 19 or something. And I was like, oh no, 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 I'm 24. I was like, oh really? And I was like, yeah, yeah, so what are you doing? So. Uh, then I was actually doing my masters and it was like oh my day so you're actually doing your masters and I was like yeah and that's when they actually believe my age he was telling me that it was really a pleasure talking to me and then he really enjoyed the conversation I was reading the board and I could see that my train I think the gate was displayed I don't know if it's called the train gate or whatever but right now I have too many flights in my head so maybe I'm really saying the wrong thing gate or terminal or whatever it is but it was displayed my train was displayed and it was time for me to start going and it was also time for them to start going oh yeah because they were going to Manchester so we're actually going on the same train can you see that man crazy man especially his friend B oh that's crazy we could actually be in the seat in the same place I was like no I don't think my seat is the same as you guys but then his friends actually tried to get my number yeah I was like oh no I'm sorry and he was like okay that was actually the reasons that they gave me and the reasons why they they look and do not approach and I didn't even ask for that they actually just gave it to me they just gave me the reasons and I was like mm, that way there is guys if you've liked it so far and you have seen me from a male perspective three reasons why they actually think that men uh, look and do not approach women these are the reasons if you guys have liked this like this video subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to come to the pdsg tv bye
Bye, guys. Bye.